video, I'm going to show how the APRs communicate with the generator and how the information is passed back and forth. So in order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is select the first patient, Brian Smith, and then start his examination. So you see here the generator is now active and the technique is loaded. So let's talk about that. The receptor selected is the wall stand and it is put into a AEC mode. And I know that because these three photocells here are selected and my screen pair is, is showing here is selected. So the kilovolts by default is loaded at 110. If the patient's larger, I'll select a larger uh, offset here. If the patient is smaller, I can select a, a smaller patient offset and um, now I'm ready to begin my examination. So the information passes from the wrists all the way through to the generator without any inter intervention. So I'll make this exposure here. And I see that my image is good, and I'm ready to begin my next examination. Um, and here what I have is my post photo timed exposures parameters. So uh, you know the, the post time is, is displayed, as well as other information that goes with the image that can be used later for QA or any um, further concerns. So I'm going to close and send this one. And I'm going to select one showing a different examination, different type of examination, um, to show different receptor settings and whatnot. So what we'll do is we'll go to the exam, uh, this exam called Abdomen AP. We'll start exam. Now this exam is different, so obviously the technique is completely different here. Um, it's a non-photo timed ex uh, examination. We can tell because the photo time selectors are off. And most importantly, a mass value is shown here. So this is what clinicians call a mass mode op of operation, or two-point. So select KV and select MAS. By default, it comes set up for the medium-sized patient. If I select larger patient, the parameters change based on, on the preset. Um, and then I'll go down to the other extreme. And the uh, we're ready to make this exposure now. So again, what you have is the information here in terms of how long the exposure was, although you would have known that going in because it was a mass exposure. Um, you have the DAP value, so the collimator um, device, if present, will capture the, um, the DAP value and all of the other post-exposure parameters, which again travel with the, the, the file. And then I'm going to show another type of examination, a hand AP. So we're ready to begin this examination. So this one is a photo timed uh, examination. Um, and we are ready to make this exposure. So we have our kilovolts preloaded at 55. Um, our large focal spot, our center cell is on, the only cell that's active in this case. And then these are act, these would be active as well, the uh, film screen pair. By default, it comes up as um, center, middle. It's a normal fil film screen pair. Density, if I needed to go up or down, I could adjust that here. And then the patient offset, just like we showed in the others. So up for larger uh, patient density down for smaller patients or smaller patient density. And I will make this exposure. And I will see that my image is present and processed and looks good. So now I will close and send.